my youtube channel my name is sarah and today's video is testing out breathable nail varnish so breathable nail varnish is basically nail varnish that will allow water into basically your cuticles your nail beds and it essentially allows you to do a thought and pray without having to remove them and so on so yeah i found this brand on instagram and it's called lena um, so I ordered a few things from her just to test out. Um, I let me show you what I ordered. I ordered a base coat, and I also ordered a top coat because I wanted to do you know a full manicure and pedicure. Um, and then I ordered two colours. Um, the first colour I ordered was this white, which is called Dubai Calling. And I ordered this nude colour, which is called um, hijabs, high heels and handbags. So yeah, I just thought white, nude, you really can't go wrong with either. So yeah, I don't know which one I'll pick, but we'll see. So I'm going to put them on and I will get back to you every single day for a week to see how long they've lasted. Do they last as long as regular nail varnish? Um, do they feel the same and so on. yeah, I hope you enjoy the video Okay, hi So I've prepped my nails and everything, you know, I filed them and cleaned them and all of that Um, so I thought I'd just go through the prices because I didn't speak about that in the intro So this one here, the um, Hijab high heels and handbags Is how much was this one? This one is £8.95. Oh, they're all £8.95 So this one is you know the base coat this one is calling to buy i think this one is really popular because it was when i checked today it was out of stock so yeah and then this is just the top coat so they're all eight pounds 95 so i'm going to start with applying the base coat by the way guys i'm literally not a expert in nails So they're dry now, um, this applied really well, the base coat, um, yeah so I'm going to move on to the colour now, I'm going to go with this nude colour which is hijabs, high heels and handbags. So this is the top coat, I'm going to put that on now because my nails have dried. So yeah, I've done my nails and they look super cute. They do look really cute. And I've done my toes. I don't know, is it, is it focusing focus? There we go. And yeah, so I will get back to you tomorrow. So these are my nails. They're looking literally perfectly fine. And this is my second hand. 
is peeling from the side a bit but that's genuinely just because of the really hot water i use when washing the dishes and yeah and then my toes are also perfectly fine those are the shoes i'm gonna wear by the way with this outfit that's why they're there but yeah it's all good hey guys it's day number three and these are my nails um they're chipped on the sides but that's because um i was trying to open up pistachios and yeah i just chipped them really badly oh there's my kitty that's silver there and there's the big one snowball but yeah um yeah they're doing quite well like these are all good it's just the sides and that was because of the pistachio <laughs> but yeah and toes are doing hey fine guys it's day number four and these are my nails yeah they're quite chipped um yeah let me show you this one isn't as chipped but um the other one definitely is um and yeah and my toes are still doing okay to be honest it's just yeah my hands are really chipped i think it is probably from the you know the washing and the hot water and everything but yeah but yeah and day yeah. number five and this is how my nails look I mean, they've seen better days, definitely. At this point, I think I would um, redo them. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep them like this. And do you know what? I think because of the water, they just go super soft. And I've also no noticed that my nail underneath, it's not dry like how it would be with normal nail varnish. But um, yeah. So my toes are doing fine as well. Um, I think just a bit of it has peeled off but it's pretty pretty much okay but yeah I am in my pyjamas and my little thingy what's this called again? Uh, what's it called again? oh my god <laughs> it's a robe? sleeping gown, whatever dressing gown, dressing gown, that's it anyways yeah, number 6 yeah. guys and these are my nails um, yeah they're looking quite icky but it's fine. Do you know what it is? It just, they keep chipping as well because the sides, the corners are exposed and I haven't been filing them. Same with the other hand. Um, this one even like completely chipped and I just have to cut it off. But yeah, I just can't wait to clean them and file them. Um, and the thing is, they've just been exposed to so much water that, and they've kind of gone a bit weak from like washing up and stuff and yeah so yeah one more day to go though and then hopefully i can redo them so it's day number seven and these are my nails they're looking a whole mess but it's fine i'm gonna redo them after this um but yeah so lena nail varnish it's good it's a good it's good product like i can't fault it in any way it's you can tell it's not cheap nail varnish it's you know it's good and for the price as well and the fact that you can pray with it I think it's good I don't think it's um, bad at all it does last long like I've had it on for a week now and I feel like if it wasn't for the hot water and stuff it would probably even last longer but um like with the washing up and everything but um yeah I feel like you know what in the beginning I was a bit hesitant about wearing nail varnish and praying I didn't know how to feel about it but um it felt a bit weird i was like mm, like is the water actually going in kind of thing but um yeah you know what it does because the nail varnish goes soft after a while like some parts of it and you can just like literally peel it off so easily so that's that made me feel a bit confident in a way like i knew yeah the water is actually going because it's soft with normal nail varnish um i feel like it dries out your nails but with this one my nail underneath it's not dry i don't know but yeah so that's my kind of overall opinion on the actual nail varnish the product there's literally nothing i could say that's bad about it it's really good um the brush is good the packaging it came in um the little bottle it's cute the colours are cute, um, it's all, it's nice basically. Um, the only negative thing I could say is about like my experience, about the customer service. What happened was when I ordered the products, I got a text just confirming what I ordered and um, it also said when the products are shipped, you will get a text confirming that they're shipped and you also get like um, a tracking number with it. So 
it was like a week later a week and a day later to be precise and i didn't get the shipping um confirmation so i was a bit worried so i was like let me message them um so i went on their website and then i saw you know contact me and i just emailed them and i was like hey just wanted an update on this um you know this is my order number i just wanted an update on the delivery um and they didn't respond to me which is a bit weird i just personally find it a bit weird if you're gonna have a contact me on your website and then not respond to your customers i just find that i don't know it just put me off um but the next day i got my the literally the day after i had emailed them i got my delivery and i also got the text about the shipping on the same day that i received it so i'm guessing it was like a delay or maybe they forgot to text me or i don't know they still haven't even responded to me till like now like i don't know even though i have my products it's fine but it would be nice i feel like it would be professional of them to just be like oh hey blah blah like we've seen that you've received your products now or whatever like i'm sorry for the you know miss mistake or whatever i don't know do you get me i don't know maybe it's just me like i'm expecting too much <laughs> of the customer service but i just feel like if you're going to have a contact me on your website and your customers contact you you should respond to them I don't know it's just weird I don't know yeah I'm not even being mean or anything like in general it's a good product everything's good it's just the customer service is a bit mm -mm, um, which put me off personally of ordering from them again um, will I order from them again I don't know maybe do you know what it's just they have such nice colors I put mm, I probably will order from them again. In general, it put me off a bit. Only because I was like, what if I have a problem with my delivery and I'm trying to contact them and they're not responding kind of thing. That's the only concern I had. Um, but then again, I didn't try contacting them on Instagram or on the phone that they provided. Maybe they do answer the phone, maybe they'll answer their Instagram, I don't really know. And do you know what? It would actually be such a cute Eid gift as well because I think they have sets as well. Like, um, I know they have like a French manicure set. Um, I think that would be a really cute Eid gift for someone. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.